Hello, succulent lovers! So, in my last video, I did an unboxing of these three important succulents. So, these succulents are from China. And we have the uh, Echeveria, Halbinger, Walther, Victor Kane, and the last one is a hybrid, which is um, the Peach Frost. So, and let's see how I prepare my succulents for repotting. So the first one is the Helping Jerry Walther. So this is a large cluster and I really love the shape because para siyang heart shape as you can see. So you can also observe na uh, due to shipping uh, medyo etiolated na siya or nag-stretch na siya ng kaunti and as you can see yung center niya is parang nag-turn na almost white color. Okay, so that means that medyo or hindi lang medyo, kulang na siya talaga sa light. And sa mga gantong klaseng um, clusters, I always check kung meron bang malambot sa stem or parang may nagahang uh, or loose na branch because normally yung mga ganito um, based on experience ko uh, mas prone prone sila sa stem rot although minsan hindi nyo makikita na malambot yung stem uh, or uh, discoloring stem minsan uh, meron na siyang stem rot na hindi talaga makikita sa labas so uh, gagawa ko is uh, ginagalaw-galaw ko yung mga branches kung medyo malambot sila or nalalaglag dun sa uh, from the mother plant and looks like um, at first mukhang okay naman to except for those little um, offsets na nalalaglag Ayan. and also the color uh, okay naman siya kulang lang siya sa light and also makikita nyo rin kung medyo maraming dry leaves or mushy leaves isa rin yung sign na merong um, stem rot or rot somewhere na nangyayari but for this one, kakareceive lang natin mukhang okay naman siya Ang mga offsets na maliliit, I'm gonna plant them separately and let's see kung mag-propagate natin. So, the next succulent is the Cryptopetalum Victor Kane. So, the ID, ang uh, ID nito uh, sa seller is actually purple haze but it doesn't look purple haze to me. So, I'm sure na mix up niyo yung ID or na mali siya nabigay sa akin kasi I think there's uh, Victor Kane sa batch to pero okay lang um, halos same price lang din naman sila um, so for this um, again I'm gonna I'm gonna check the stems and also um, the leaves kung meron bang fungus kung meron bang mushy leaves and kung medyo malambot pa yung stem and also, kahit hindi naman malambot yung stem, minsan merong hidden stem rot dyan. Ang first sign is kung maraming um, na mushy or naglalagas na leaves. Pero ito naman, may mga roots na rin sa bandang baba ng stem. So, I'm sure healthy yung stem nito. Um, so, last summer, ang daming namatay na uh, succulent sa akin. So, um, I promise myself na kada receive ko ng new succulents is I'm gonna propagate them immediately. So, syempre, depende pa rin sa status nila nung dumating. Pero ito, it looks healthy naman. And there are a lot of heads. So, I'm gonna cut this one head here. And since matangkad naman siya uh, na succulent, even though I cut this one, pwede ko naman siya tanin din agad. Kasi hindi naman lulubog sa lupa yung pinagkata natin. And, we will also place um, cinnamon dun sa um, pinagkata natin. So, see? So, it looks like a uh, healthy stem to me. So, nalagyan na lang natin siya ng cinnamon. 
and we can plant it immediately. The last um, succulent na in box ko last time is itong new hybrid which is the um, peach frost or peach snow. Actually, um, hybrid siya ng Graptopetalum amethystinum and uh, Graptoveria powder puff. Okay? And it's a beautiful purplish succulent. And since um, isa sa parent niya is yung amethystinum Ang dami ko nang namatay na Ami Epistinum. So, ang gusto pala ni Ami is talagang outdoors. Hindi ko siya pwedeng i-grow indoors kasi nagkakaroon ng weird growth yung center niya. So, same with the uh, Victor Kane. Uh, I'm gonna cut the, uh, the stems here, itong dalawa sa harapan. Uh, also, para rin mag-produce ng mga bagong baby. So, hopefully mag-produce siya. Um, pero itong dalawa, ikakat ko, I'll try to grow this again indoor. Siyempre, ito, ito testing, ito experiment din natin yan. So, indoors, uh, yung dalawa under the grow light. And then, yung pinaka main plant is, of course, outdoors. Uh, although, dito sa place ko, yung microclimate ko kasi is very humid. Um, and medyo warm din ngayon kahit per month, per months na medyo mainit pa rin. Lalo na paghapon. Um... So, I'm gonna cut this the same as the Victor Kane. heads niya. So, for sure, um, maglalagas pa to. Um, same as my other succulent. So, ganun naman. I also got this. Hindi na ako nag-worry pa sa form na kung masasira kasi I'm very sure na maglalagas pa to while adjusting to my microclimate. So, itong isang nakat ko is medyo um, marami pa siyang leaves. So, okay pa siya. Um, feeling ko hindi naman siya ganong or may matitira pa sa kanyang leaves hanggang sa maka-adjust siya. Although, this one, uh, medyo konti na lang siya. Um, so, feeling ko sobrang magiging maliit na to. Pero, hopefully, mabuhay silang dalawa. And, I'll show you the update after a uh, few weeks. guys, ilang months na rin yung nakalipas. And unfortunately, um, after a few weeks, napansin ko na parang wala masyadong um, improvement itong Halpin Cherry Walther. And hindi nag-roots yung mother or pinakagit ng plant niya. Then, I noticed na um, nag na pala yung mother plant. So, what I did was I cut them, I cut everything, and then repot it again. So, as you can see, kahit may karoon na siya ng kulay because it's receiving sufficient light. And again guys, itong pinaka bong plant is, um, I've grown this um, indoors under the grow light. Um, and then, yung babies, and kumuha rin ako ng malit na cutting, I place it outdoors and hindi niya kinaya yung um, mataas na humidity dito sa amin. And so, prone pala to sa, ano, uh, sa stem rot. So, ayaw niya ng may humid. Um, siguro, ayaw niya ng mainit. I don't know. Pero, yun nga, namatay yung 
um, isang head na nilagay ko outdoors kahit nasa shaded area lang siya um, nagka-stem rat siya uh, and again, so um, buti na lang medyo naagapan ko, so yung pinaka center plant nito um, yung nag-stem rat, the others are fine and may mga ugat na rin naman sila so I just repotted them and here's what they look like after a few weeks so after 4 months, ito na siya ngayon. Hindi na siya dehydrated. Uh, and ang ganda na rin ng um, color niya. And you can see the new leaves versus the, the old leaves. Um, and ito is few days after siya ma-water. So ang water ko dito is um, iba-iba. Basta pag nakita ko na na malambot yung... Uh, leaves niya, or nag-wrinkle na, doon ko palang titiligan, or full water siya, actually. Um, so, ayan na siya ngayon, ganda-ganda na niya. And this, again, is grown uh, indoors, under the grow light. Um, and 24 hours din yung kanyang uh, fan. Um, kasi nga, yung nilagay ko outdoors, uh, namatay siya, uh, maybe because very humid dito. Sa amin, <coughs> Um, I'm located in Lower Antipolo, so um, yung temperature niya hindi ganun kalamig. And also nga, very humid. So, ngayon, alam ko na na prone ito sa um, stem rot and ayaw niya ng um, ng ayaw niya masyado ng water. So, I really don't have a watering schedule for this. I just wait for the leaves to uh, wrinkle a bit. And pag nakita ko niyan, saka pala ako mag full water. So, this one is the Victor Kane. And as you can see, um, wala siyang gaanong progress. It's because mga ilang weeks pa lang, Siguro wala pang one month, uh, nagkaroon na ito ng fungus. Or ito yung, yung natin itinatawag na gray molds. Um, so, what I did was, I treated it with um, titane um, spray and also alternate sila ng um, folicure. Okay. So, medyo ang tagal niyang nawala. And so, pag tibay ng fungus na yun, or baka weak lang itong plant na to. Uh, pero, um, as you can see naman, it's already recovering. Uh, itong question niya dito is nakakatanggap lang ng 2 to 3 hours of direct sunlight and indirect bright light na yung the rest of the day. Uh, so, hopefully, uh, magtuloy-tuloy na yung um, progress niya and mas lumago pa siya dito sa outdoors. Again, this is after four months. So this one, naman, uh, since nilagay ko to sa labas, um, naging slow grower siya. Mas nauna pang tumubo yung uh, nilagay ko sa indoors. So ang buong pag-aakala ko is mas uh, magugustuhan niya outdoors. Kasi nga si Ame, when I grown it indoors, naging weird yung growth niya. So ang ginawa ko, dahil hindi ko siya nakitaan ng progress outdoors, I place this indoors. So, sigun mga one month pa lang itong nasa loob. And, ang bilis na nagkaroon ng new growth. So, as you can see, yung uh, mga big heads, ang dami ng um, buo na yung farina niya sa gitna. So, 
ganda ng growth niya. And, pero, ito naman baby. Gusto naman po naman siya uh, outdoors. Ang ganda ng tubo ng mga offsets niya. So, nagputol ako ng two heads and napalitan ng tatlo. I mean, medyo konti nga lang. Pero, at least, uh, nagproduce siya ng offsets um, after I cut them. Yan. So, yung dalawang cuttings ng peach frost, I placed in here. So, as you can see, yung isang maliit uh, na maraming dried leaves or halos dried name leaves, ayun talaga, sobrang lumiit siya. Um, dito ko rin nilagay yung sa Victor Kane and as you can see, halo-halo na sila dito. Pati yung mga sacrins ko dito na mga uh, naglagas. So, again, this is uh, grown interest under the grow light. Music